better life. Make sure they had place to stay. Josephine Johnson and her husband Harold remember their 30-year-old niece, Desandria, and her two children, 11-year-old Jacoby and 14-year-old LaPortia. She loved playing basketball. She loved every time you see her, she had the basketball in her hand. Harold says he went to the family's home on Jesse Street just after 3 p.m. Saturday to check on them when he noticed. The front door was cracked. So I pushed the door in, but when I pushed the door in, I didn't know that my great niece was, was sitting right there behind the door. That's when he went inside. I seen my niece laying on the couch like that, then I grabbed her, but there was no response, so that's when I ran outside the house and told my wife, you know, she needed to call 911. St. Paul police responded and found all three victims suffering from gunshot wounds. Two victims were pronounced dead at the scene. Harold's great nephew was taken to a hospital where he later died from his injuries. My nephew was protecting his mama. He was still alive. He's when I walked in the house, he said, Uncle Harold, help me. Sergeant Mike Ernster told reporters Saturday that officers responded to the address on a welfare check only hours before the shooting. He says a St. Paul police officer spoke with a concerned family member inside the resident who allegedly said she was okay. But while police continue to investigate, the family is searching for answers. You're all the kids. Kids shouldn't have to go through that.